Oh, now here's our bread and butter. I game. love this. This is what the people have been waiting for. <sighs> Winner of the Game Is On Award. Yes. Uh, which is to say, for people who don't know, it's uh, when a, a movie very, very... Um, I've lost Transparently. Word, very transparently and very, uh, just very uh, forthrightly announces that they give us a little, little tease that is just going to be like... They're like, get ready. Get ready. The next thing is going to be absolutely... You loved this, you lo- but this- imagine mm. what else is Just happening. so arrogant. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, just a, that's right. Just an arrogant proclamation that you are, you've loved this movie so much that you are going to love the sequel, which is, is going to come out soon. It's or definitely the franchise, happen. the extended universe. It's definitely going to happen. Uh, and look, the, the 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 way we measure this has has changed over the years, I think. But, you know, it, the, the factors include <laughs> whether the movie itself was really a movie at all or just an ad <laughs> for the next thing. Yep. The level of failure. Like <laughs> the, we, we include box office results here. If you're like, yeah. the, the, you know, if they're like, you're going to love the next one and it makes a million dollars. Yeah. You know, th- that is, that's embarrassing. That's, that's embarrassing. It's got to be in there. <laughs> but let's let's work through with some of these options. So Black Adam, Moonfall, <laughs> Morbius, The King's Man, Uncharted. Okay. This is hard. Mm. I'm going to rule out Uncharted. Okay. Because who cares? Absolutely. And uh, it came out three or four years ago, <laughs> so whatever. And they haven't made a sequel yet. Now and the, it's just so – but, I mean, at the same time, it's just kind of like – And they're probably going to make one It's anyway. interesting to talk about because they've got – they just went Tom Holland, Mark Wahlberg – their big ticket guy. You, you yep. are going to love this. Of course, there's going to be a sequel to this. And everybody went, no one cares. Yeah. Absolutely no. And they cares. will, though, because it made enough money. Yeah, right, 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 right. Now. Oh, then I guess we can rule it out. Yeah. Yeah. Special shout out to the King's Man, uh-huh. where they went introducing the next villain. Real Adolf life, <laughs> Real life villain Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Young Adolf Hitler. And watching it, I'm just like, you are fucking kidding me. They just did that with mm. Adolf. I also. Good movie. Yeah. I was surprised how much I enjoyed it. It's way better than Kingsman 2. And got, by tenfold. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's just a Ray Fiennes movie for like most of it. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't expect that. He's He's parachuting terrific. on the mountainsides. It's, it's so people. it's just a lot of fun. Yeah. It's way better than the Good second cast. one. Good um, cast. Yeah, um, but um yeah, but got no promotion at all. Yeah. See, I also think we should factor that in. Like they buried the Kingsman. Yeah. I don't I think I saw it on streaming, but I don't know. I think I did as well. Yeah. But I don't know. Because it did, did it get a star or Disney Plus or something? Because it's a Fox property. Yeah, I think it, I think it did. maybe that's where it ended up. But, yeah. I mean, probably it wasn't even on the front page. Yeah. I feel like that, like even, I, I also feel like the Kingsman didn't go, you know, it'll get butts in seats. The, you, you guys will watch the sequel because we're bringing in the big, the big heavyweight Hitler. <laughs> I don't think that, that's, you know. I don't. I don't think. Yeah. Anyway. Wild. Wild. Um. But here's here's the big three. I think. So yeah. Black Adam. Obviously, you're gonna love the next one because Superman and Black Adam are gonna punch on. But immediately when I saw that, I was like, "That's not happening." Right. That was before the DCU announcement. Yeah. That was obviously well before they cancelled Henry Cavill from like the projects and he's doing was it other post stuff. Post the Warner Brothers merger. Yes, was, yeah. but like just the idea, like after seeing that movie and then being like Superman, yeah, I was right. like, no. Okay, right, For right. multiple reasons, no. Uh-huh. Like I was immediately clocked that as not yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still think the Morbius thing could happen. Like the Vulture, Morbius, Sinister Six, whatever. Yeah, right, right, right. I mean, it shouldn't mm. with Morbius. Yeah, right. Just ditch that. Now, Moonfall is an interesting <laughs> one because... There's a man in the moon. It, there's a desperation <laughs> to it because it doesn't feel like... Anybody would want a sequel to this. It doesn't like the the only. I feel like the the whole thing about Moonfall is the concept is a hundred percent, a hundred and fifty percent ridiculous. Yeah, and like, who are we following in a sequel? We're following maybe Patrick Wilson. Yeah, probably none of the other supporting characters, but also that guy who loved Elon Musk in it, who died and then his brain got downloaded into the <laughs> He's moon. He's in the moon. He's in the moon. <laughs> And then what were they were they going to be more aliens showing up or were they, were they taking the moon into space to fly the moon Great around? questions all yeah. of, all concerning the movie Moonfall. But it, it I mean it gets points for just being like would you, do you want another one? Yeah. We're just kind of I mean that's also feels like just put that in the movie. Yeah. Like why does it need to be post credits? That's not mm. the kind of post credits movie situation. And also it felt very much like the ending of second Independence Day movie. Yeah. So it felt like a copy of what was essentially a copy of Independence and Day And that one. may be one. 
in its own. I year. think maybe it won that year. Yeah, but look, I cannot, I can't, I, I can't go without talking about Morbius. Yeah, and what I loved about it was that it was just a mishmash of random stuff. Yes, and it had you know we got to put in a reference to Spider Man. Yeah, because people will will be super keen on this on a sequel to this terrible movie if we mentioned Spider Man. Ooh, and obviously they didn't know what it was. Yeah, they didn't know who was going to be talking to really. <laughs> They were like, intriguing. Well, let's make some calls and see who's free. Oh, Michael Keaton's free. All right, yeah. we, can do, we can knock that out. Just the way know. he appeared in his cell. Mm. Remember how he was just yeah. like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh? And it was clearly taken from somewhere. They took it out of the trailer as well. Because mm, yeah. remember in the trailer, he meets him separately. We should yes. sue. And he's like, yeah. talking Michael Morby. It's mm. interesting, don't we? But, and he's like, maybe it had something to do with Spider Man. It's so vague. It's so vague. That's what I love about it. The, I, what I love about it is... Vague because they don't know. Because they don't know. And the <laughs> idea was, I think, that if this movie made a huge amount of money, they would figure it out later, yeah. which I like. I love and respect. Whereas Black Adam, mm. at least that was... There was a plan. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. it was never going to work, but at yeah. least they were like, no, we're going to do this. Mm. Whereas Morbius was just like, you figure this out right. and then and then we'll do it. Exactly. If, you know, if this makes money. Mm. So it's probably Morbius, but Black Adam like just happened. So I know that's like fresh in people's minds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But what do you think? I mean, I think about nothing but Morbius. Yeah. I'm going to say Morbius feels so long ago as well. Yeah. yeah. I think if it just happened, we'd be feeling differently about it. Mm. But uh, I can give you the results if you Please. while you're thinking. Black Adam got 52%, followed by Morbius 28%, then The King's Man 11%, then Moonfall, then Uncharted. I'm still going to say Morbius. I'm still going to say Morbius also. What a lineup this year, though. Yeah, right? What a, cause at the start, They're all winners in my book. It's funny because like at the start of every year, I'm like, not this year. Yeah. And this is like the strongest year we've had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> every year it's like surely they'll, they'll have learned their lesson. But no, they've learned the opposite. And the wild thing as well is... These are all post credits because mm. it doesn't have to be post credits, right? Because yeah. the original game is on. I don't think is a post credit. The one from Dracula Untold that we took this from. Yeah, that just happens. Pre, that happens pre credits, I think. Let the games begin. Wild stuff, mm. Mason. What are you going to say? I'm going to say Morbius. I think, yeah, because okay. I think <laughs> okay. I just think that the Superman well, uh, Black Adam thing could. Not now, obviously. No, never. Yeah, I don't know. I think there was hope for that in a movie, I think. Yeah. Maybe not Black Adam versus Superman, but maybe they appear in a Justice League together or something like that and they fly in and you're like, what happened there? And you're like, well, we talked it out and now we're buddies or whatever. I'm like, okay, well, maybe they wouldn't get their own movie, but they'd be in a scene. Yeah. But with Morbius, I'm just like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with (laughs) this? Stop it. Yeah.